Mitch? Thanks, Mason. It's one of the most competitive leagues in America, and it's commonly acknowledged as the best conference. Eight teams in the Big 12 have been ranked in the top 25 since the start of 2015. I took a look at some of the stats behind the recent surge of the Big 12. The Oklahoma State Cowboys have lost five of their last six conference games, but they're still attempting to tie their dancing shoes. But how can a team with a sub-500 conference record still make the NCAA tournament? It's because the Big 12 is commonly acknowledged as the best conference in the NCAA this year. One of the many reasons the Big 12 is having success is because of its non-conference record. The Big 12 has posted an astounding 82.7 winning percentage. This is the highest percentage of any league since the 2004-2005 season. Comparing to the other Power 5 conferences, the Big 12 is 6% higher than any other conference. CBS bracketologist Jerry Palm says the Big 12 is the strongest league top to bottom this year. It's been um, really good outside the league, which is where conferences prove themselves, is outside the league, and the Big 12 did a really good job of that this year. According to Big12Sports.com, the Big 12 has had one team nationally ranked every week since the conference began in 1996. Seven of the ten Big 12 schools are currently ranked in the top 20 for strength of schedule. The Big 12 has had an impact on the RPI rankings as well, with seven schools currently ranked in the top 45. Every team in the conference has at least one win over a top 25 opponent. With the strength of the Big 12 as a whole, OSU men's basketball coach Travis Ford says he's not surprised when there could be a so-called upset. I don't think there's many lead, there's I don't know of any that can compare to it at this point. Uh, from what we have to go through, game by game, uh, for you know, two months or so. Home court advantage has played a predominant role in the Big 12 this year. Every team in the conference has its own version of a loud and chaotic environment, which can make it even more difficult to play and also win. The Big 12 has won 69% of their home games during conference play. These kinds of stats make players like TCU guard Kean Anderson realize how harsh playing on the road can be. You know, it's just it's, it's the momentum of, of everything that's, you know, different arenas and crowds have to have to do with it, um, especially in this league. So, I mean, it's just, it's just tough to get one, you know, on the road here in the Big 12. When opposing teams walk out of these doors, and onto this court, they know they're in for a battle. But Oklahoma State isn't the only court they have to worry about. Every arena in the Big 12 is exactly like this. The Big 12 has the hardest strength of schedule compared to the other Power 5 conferences with an average of 30. The ACC is right behind the Big 12 with an average of 41. The Big 12 also has a better RPI ranking compared to the other Power 5 conferences. The success of the Big 12 on the court has bracketologists going crazy, especially during the month of March. Jerry Palm says the Big 12 should expect multiple schools to make the NCAA tournament. There are at least six tournament quality teams that are, you know, uh, a few of them are locks, and there's a couple that would just have to absolutely, you know, collapse to fall out at this point. However, not every expert is on board with the Big 12 being the best conference. Some say the fact that the Big 12 only has 10 teams makes it weaker. The problem with this argument is that larger conferences tend to have weaker teams at the bottom. The Big 12 doesn't have that this year. The round-robin schedule means that every team plays each other twice during the season. This fact has many experts saying that the conference schedule prepares its teams better for the NCAA tournament. For The Poke Report, I'm Mitch Brown. Although it is likely that the Big 12 will see six teams make the NCAA tournament, it's also a possibility that we could see seven. Oklahoma State and Texas will be biting their nails come Selection Sunday when their fate is finally revealed.